Hey everyone, welcome back to the Race 5 Smokehouse and Grill and today we are going to be making a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, actually two of them, a couple different ways with a little Chicago twist. Stick around. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're making the Philly cheesesteaks and it's a little bit special because I got these American Wagyu sirloin tip uh, slices on sale. So these are made for sandwiches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them into thin strips, throw them on the Blackstone, and we're going to make some, some Philly steak sandwiches. So I'm pretty excited about cooking this American Wagyu on the, the, flat, uh, the flat top out there. Should turn out great. And... What we're gonna do, we're gonna use some provolone cheese on one sandwich. We got some cheddar cheese sauce for another one. And what I'm gonna do to mix it up, little Chicago style, is add some hot jardiner on one of them. Try that out as well. I'm gonna be using some white onion, some yellow bell peppers, and some mushrooms. We'll throw all that on the flat top, cook it down, make some sandwiches. So first thing we need to do is cut these strips pieces of meat into some strips about an inch inch and a quarter wide and that'll be the meat that goes on the grill so let's get to cutting okay so what we're going to do i want to make this easy on myself and i'm going to stack these up since these seem to look like the grains going in the same way and you want to cut against the grain when you're doing this Try to keep that meat in, uh, the, the juices in there as you're cutting. But I'm going to kind of cheat here and I'm going to cut, like I said, about inch, inch and a quarter inch strips here. And this is what's going to go on the grill and get fired up. Well, you can see this is pretty thin, and as it's going to cook, it's going to thin up a little bit more. These were made for sandwiches, so it's perfect. If you had your own whole roast, you're going to want to slice it thin, even with a, a meat slicer if you have it, but this is going to work fine. I'm even thinking, you know what, I'm going to cut these in half as well, just to make it more manageable. You know, do what you have to do. Do what feels right, feels comfortable for you. All right, we got this chopped up real nice the way I like it. We're going to go ahead and get the Blackstone fired up, and then get the veggies on. We're going to season this with a little salt and pepper right before we take it off. So there's no need to season it right now. All right, meet you out at the Blackstone. Okay, you can see we got the black top heated up. I'm going to put some butter on here. And this is going to be for the veggies that I start here in a second. We're also going to toast the bread on here a little bit, so that's why I'm doing the, doing the whole top here. It won't hurt the meat to have a little butter on it, you know what I'm saying? Alright, turns it down to about a medium, we're doing about a medium high heat. Let's get these veggies on. A couple white onions I chopped up. couple yellow peppers and some mushrooms get these on first because they take longer than the meat 
And these are also going to shrink down quite a bit. Then we'll get it all into, we'll end up turning down to heat some, get it on the cool side while we cook up the meat. All right, I'm going to let this go for a little bit. We'll be back as it sautés down. Okay, I've been mixing this up a bit. So this is getting pretty close. You can see the onions are getting translucent. The mushrooms are cooking down pretty well. The uh, uh, yellow peppers are getting pretty soft. So I'm going to put this over here in the corner. Let this keep staying warm until we go to load up our sandwiches. This will keep cooking down, getting softer. This will be perfect for the sandwich. Keep this over here in the corner. Then I'm also going to throw on our little bowl of cheese whiz. Now I'm going to go get the meat and we're going to put it over in here in this area. And we're going to go to about a, a medium high heat. We're just going to let this cook down here. Be back in a little bit once this gets cooked. All right, want to keep tossing this around, make sure it doesn't stick or burn. But you can tell this is coming along real nicely. You can tell how much. Uh, Fat was actually in here, rendered out from that American Wagyu. And what I'm going to do now, this is getting close, pretty close to being done. I am going to hit this with a little salt and pepper. I have uh, kosher salt, coarse ground uh, black pepper. I'm going to season this up real quick, give it a little extra more flavor here. And we'll hit this stuff too. Alright, get this tossing around here again. Alright, I'm going to go get the bread sliced and we're going to put the bread right here to toast up real quick before we put that all together. Alright, time to load up the sandwich here. Tell me that doesn't look fantastic. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna get this other one loaded up too. Oh yeah, you know it's gonna be good when it makes a big old mess. Slide this on in here.
Got a lot left over, so I'll probably make a few extra sandwiches for some neighbors. But first, let's see how these are. All right, here we go. We got a whole mess of goodness over here. This is the one I'm excited to get into, the one with the jar in there. So I'm going to. Oh yeah. First off, the steak is phenomenal. Tender, tasty, the cheese on there, I love provolone. The peppers and everything, the onions, everything just plays so well. Very easy to do. Took me maybe 20 minutes to make all three sandwiches and have a ton left over. Worth a shot. The jar in there peppers, always a home run. Spicy, you gotta get the hot jar in there. So give it a try. Let me know if you have any comments, thoughts. Check me out on social media at the links below, Facebook and Instagram. Give me a subscribe if you like it. I'll talk to you soon. See you later.